Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to talk about uh, what is the difference between DevOps and MLOps. So let's first understand what is DevOps. So DevOps is nothing but the uh, set of practices uh, or I would say the main goal of DevOps to uh, decrease the development life cycle. How it does these things? By uh, automating the testing process and adopting the continuous integration and continuous delivery methodology. So the two uh, important components of DevOps are uh, CI and CD that is continuous integration and continuous delivery and if uh, I talk about like the from end to end point of view so we have a code versioning then automatic testing then it comes CI then it comes CD so these are the four main component of DevOps now let's see uh, what is MLOps then uh, compare one by one each of the component so now what is MLOps MLOps is the set of practice whose aim is to uh, deploy and maintain machine learning models in production efficiently and reliably and the other important aspects of MLOps is uh, to take care uh, models in production so that uh, even uh, so that if due to uh, various other reasons if model performance degrades over the period of time then we should have some continuous monitoring mechanism in place which monitors the model performance and uh, let us know let the system know okay model performance is reducing so now there is a need to retrain the model and that's where it comes like continuous training so we should have some mechanism to automate the continuous training thing in MLOps so that's the extra important third component in MLOps concept so now let's uh, compare uh, the DevOps and MLOps components so now let's talk about uh, and understand the uh, comparison between uh, different components uh, between uh, DevOps and MLOps the first important component is like versioning version control so in DevOps, we mainly do a code versioning, okay? So in MLOps also we do a code versioning, but here the another component comes like uh, data versioning. So here in MLOps, we also take care of data versioning because without data, there is nothing in MLOps, right? Second component comes like testing. So in uh, DevOps, we do a different kind of testing like unit testing, smoke testing, and all those alpha beta testing, okay? Whatever the uh, testing related to software development work. We do those here in MLOps also, but we, these can be neglected, but uh, because it depends like you are deploying model standalone, your, your work is only till model serving, or you also want to integrate this model with other software application. If there is a software application is also involved along, along with model, then those software testing will also comes in place. So those need to be automated but along with that there are some other specific testing for example you need to do the hypothesis testing right so this kind of data related testings are involved in MLOps then another component is like a continuous integration so when your um, software code is ready uh, developed and ready to integrate and ready to go for production so that's where continuous integration component comes in picture so that you continuously develop new new feature and continuously deploy without the much downtime in the production system so same way here also a continuous integration uh, is there in MLOps so it's quite similar to what we have in DevOps so not much difference okay then continuous delivery so in software we uh, deliver a new feature in the production after integrating after automatic testing we deploy in the production okay so that old code is replaced with the new new code or if it is a new feature so uh, uh, retaining the old code on top of that you just integrate the new feature and deploy the uh, system in MLOps this is also same okay but uh, from here the major difference start between MLOps and DevOps so what happens in DevOps see you build some new feature you build a complete end-to-end -end application but what happens like suppose you talk about any feature for example the very basic feature of registration okay registration page so what happens in registration page you have some set of fields you feed some data and you expect some outputs output is like that user detail will get stored in the database and then later that will be reflected in the UI right that's the only thing and similar behavior could be of any uh, form any page within the application but in uh, MLOps what happens the MLOps is main, mainly related with our data and model so when you deploy any model in production then it continuously uh, take the real data real data streaming comes as input to model and then it produces some output some prediction result so what happens this prediction result is totally dependent on the kind of data you are inputting to the model and over the period this data can change data might change 
or the concept or data drift might come in picture so that's where model performance will degrade so that's where here we have we should have some continuous monitoring of model performance in devops also we have monitoring in place but there that is kind of application monitoring resource monitoring downtime monitoring log monitoring okay but it, those all practices are same in mlops also for monitoring but along with that we also monitor model performance so there in devops like application performance uh, kind of some there is nothing kind of application performance there you can uh, monitor the like resources so here in mlops along with resources you also talk about model performance okay so if model performance is reducing then based on that monitoring you need to trigger something to retrain the model and that's where you have the another important component is the continuous training and that should also be uh, integrated in that deployment pipeline so ci cd then ct continuous training so that's another important component so this is the main difference between mlops and devops in a nutshell okay so yeah that's it i hope uh, now uh, by now you are clear with the basic difference between devops and mlops it is quite similar to uh, mlops is quite similar to devops but the only the, like uh, some extra component get uh, involved like data versioning and uh, model monitoring and continuous training because here we may uh, mostly deal with data so data versioning so data related things also comes in place and model related things also comes in place and other software practices they, they remain same so that's all uh, for uh, this video guys i hope you like this and uh, yeah uh, if you like my video please don't forget to uh, like subscribe and share with your colleagues so thank you thank you very much